Finally, it's six rocking horses, often thought of as toys for kids. But for one man in Lackawanna County, they are considered works of art. Our Mike Stevens met him in 2006. He goes back down the Pennsylvania road to show us the creative process. The early works of Matthew Bourne. Back then, he had kids at home who would ride a rocking horse, and he also had an idea on how to build one. Well, that didn't work out, but it led to experiments. Years later, it looks like those experiments succeeded. Like, I look at those and I understand exactly what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. All the major parts are there showing how I can, I'm going to construct them. The making of a rocking horse is like assembling a jigsaw puzzle, but you design, cut, and finish every piece first. Some need cutting just so. Others need finishing in exactly the right amount. Wood blocks finally get to the assembly stage and the whole thing begins to take shape. There's a horse in there and you can see it. This is the, the main torso of the horse and these angles here create the angles for the legs. And so it was that Matthew worked out the details of handcrafting a rocking horse. There was one thing still missing, even as the rest of the process took shape. What I wanted to do was create something that aesthetically grabbed your attention. You know, the, the flare of the nostril, the, the chomping at the bit, the tongue, the teeth. And so I studied the carousel horse. And it has now all come together. Matthew Bourne has created the rocking horse he's been imagining all this time. A creation that begs to be ridden by kids down a dusty trail to an old cow town or anywhere else imagination can take them. Matthew's stable of trusty steeds is ready willing and able to go. Mike Stevens, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road in Lackawanna County.